February 16th, 1996, you did something in your career that you have never done until that particular day. Very story career, but you only did this thing one time, hitting a three-pointer in a game. You recall? I told Brian Hill I wanted to shoot a three. He told me no, so he called the inbound play for somebody else. I intercepted the ball and <laughs> shot it off the glass and it went in. Well, it's interesting that you say that because I actually did some recon, talked to 3D, and he said basically before the play was drawn up for Penny. And Shaq said, you pass me it and I'm going to hit that. Is that accurate or not? Sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> then following the play, after you go to the bench, you're sitting next to 3D and you're telling him, I told you. I told you. Listen, everyone knows that I'm a prolific MF score. MF stands for most frequent. Most frequent. Most frequent. So, you know, we were up at that point. I wanted, wanted to shoot a three. I like to entertain the people. So this play was never practiced. There was never a situation where you did this in a practice setting. I started as a shooter, believe it or not. High school, junior high, AAU. Started as a shooter. And then when I realized that the Shaq character was feared as a powerful player, I stuck to that. So let's talk about the guys today, because they tend to shoot J's, three-pointers, you have B, you have Gasol, all these guys out here shooting the, the, the long ball. What are your thoughts on that? I just think that they're products of their environment. When I was playing, I was killing all the dominant big guys off. And you had a lot of European guys coming in, you know, Derek and all those guys playing that way. So I guess the, the guys that weren't able to you know, bring the funk and say, yeah, I don't, I don't think I could throw balls and play every game, but I could pick and pop and shoot that jumper. So it's not that I have something against those guys. It's probably my fault that guys don't play in the post bang on bang on basketball style anymore. Steph Curry, arguably the greatest The greatest shooter. player under the rim ever. You said on a number of occasions that he's your favorite player to watch. You pay money to see him play. Why is that? Is it the three ball or is it the it's, other aspects? It's the three it? ball, the other aspects of the game, the way he played, the way he wasn't highly talked about coming up, and he just worked to get that position. You know, as a fan, as a father who has sons, it's, it's actually really good basketball to watch because they play the right way. Even though he does his stuff and, uh, you know, Durant does everything, they play great team ball. In my opinion, he's the greatest player under the rim. Like the greatest player ever, all aspects of the game to me is Mike. Defense, above the rim, below the rim, uh, dominant championship, but the greatest player below the rim, I got to give it to him. So moving forward, of course, not playing anymore, retired. I've seen highlights, footage where you're calling yourself the black Steph Curry, knocking down threes with consistency, showing your, your sons that you actually can do it. Steph Curry. My real game in LA fitness and 24 hour fitness, I'd be killing people. And the crazy thing is I don't go to being Shaq. Like I'm, I'm on the wing, crossing people up, look away passes. But yeah, that, that's my real game out there. I'm dominant out there.